Legend of Total War here with part 23 of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play campaign as the Carling Dynasty Empire of Francia. Alright, so previously, expand a little bit into India, a little bit up here, a little bit into Byzantines. A um, little bit everywhere, I suppose. Alright, so main thing what I need right now is a little bit of piety so I can create the Kingdom of Wallachia. So I need to pick someone to have a fight with. So let's start with you. That's probably a good choice. Uh, I'm gonna go for this just because it's making the place look untidy. So looking at it, where is it supposed to belong? It uh, okay, belongs in in his hands. And also, we don't have to worry about a defensive pact here. And also, we've got plenty of troops in the. Oh shit, that's not very many. Why is that? Why am I getting so few? Oh, 14,000 is not, not that much. But you know, I was expecting twice as much from them. I guess it doesn't really matter. It should be enough to... Ah, oh, motherfucker. Well, that didn't get us anywhere, did it? Well, yeah, we're... Our manpower is a little bit depleted. That was a waste of time. What about Denmark? Ah, oh, damn it. Um, actually, it's probably better than Chased for him. So this guy here, he's a little bit over his limit, maybe. Let me just see if I could possibly get you... Okay, we can get to the Duchy of... Of Moldo. Oh, come on. That's what I'm doing. And that way we can transfer this count into your possession. There we go. Now, I hold the Kingdom of Mesopotamia. I guess I, I finished that one off before I actually finished Syria. So how much longer has this got to go? Four more years and then we can finally revoke that title from him. Uh, but now he's he's been out of jail for so long. I mean, he's been in jail for so long, it's been forgotten. So I might as well... If I was to banish... No, alright, just, um, just release him then. And if he plays up again, well, I'll imprison him. We still need to take this off him at some point. Now, I also said that the Byzantines need to be punished, but we have a peace treaty with them, and I said I didn't want to spend any more um I didn't want to cut my um my prestige in half because he's about to die I might as well add it to the score okay our forces are at full strength is this guy here he's probably our best option for getting just a little bit of um Piety. Everyone's going to want to pick a fight. Oh shit, I can't draw the problem with that. May need a little bit more reinforcements. Extra 50,000 should be sufficient. backed off, that's what I wanted to see. Come over here. Now I need them to back off this position here so that I can 
essentially get the bulk of my soldiers. Back off, motherfucker. Gotta keep checking on her to make sure she's not pregnant. Or doesn't have, you know, two sons. If she has one son, then she needs to go to jail. It's tyrannical, but it needs to happen or else or else we endanger everything that we've done to keep things tidy. Well, that's a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. Let's just hope we can handle it. Doesn't look like it. Just low morale. Pull them back to here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Fifty thousand men, additional men coming. I mean, I could have, I could have drawn a lot of men from there, but they would have had zero morale. So and there's a whole reason why I'm attacking this area, so I can get them there. But it looks like these guys here will just come in here and win the war for us. And that wasn't even worth any war score. For them, that is. I'm just, just going to have to ignore them, so we can't rely on getting Aquitaine's forces. I might as well just raid these guys just because fuck them. Gold for me doesn't cost anything. And also a little bit of piety. They'll be wanting to surrender right there. We'll hand this over to him. Of course, he still needs a duchy title, but you know, we're working on it. Anyway, I got the um, enough piety to uh, to do what I need to do over here to create the kingdom of uh, what was it called again? Kingdom of Valachia. There we go. Create that, and you are the newest king of the world. The newest kingdom. Uh, where is this? Probably down the bottom. So, Belgorod, this... Oh, hang on, hang on. These guys here... They've got a little bit more territory than I had originally thought. So maybe I'll wait. Why is this under siege? Oh, that's right, Aquitaine. Yeah, I, I remember. That's alright. So, Italy lost its war, or got a truce, whichever. They're still fighting.
What's this? Suppose they're defending, defending versus foreigner thing. Novgorodian war for claim on scars, whatever. It's fine. Oh, look at this. This is a. Um, is it the only one? No, no, no. There's a few regions. Um, I might just leave that. Who's conquering Sweden here? Well, I have no objections to that. So, just because he's got a foreign culture, yeah, well, that's not going to be so easy to convert. Um, just let the Syrians keep keep working on that. Now, once we've taken Kiva... We'll start a new kingdom, that's Turkestan, Kumania, Mongolia, Khotan. Yeah, now see, here's the thing, it's a lot of territory, in terms of like square miles, but it's trash, so it's not going to be a very powerful kingdom, so I'm actually considering giving them perm as well. Alright, let's get started on that, and let's, let's declare war on the Banjanid re revolt, let me just check here. Kings go into bold of where, where is that? Azerbaijan. Pope convert this damn pagan area here. Now I don't want to declare war on these guys and then Yeah, see the the revolt is almost won. So, I don't know, maybe just wait until it's over and then we'll declare one on the actual Banjanids themselves. Or maybe I'll just declare one on the Banjanids right now. Let's have a look. Whatever we do, I just need to make sure I get the whole fucking thing. I don't want to have to do it again later. Okay, so Merv is already partially in our territory. So we'll take that. So this will be handed over to Persia, who has so far been a dutiful and loyal vassal. And we'll deal with 82,000 men. Really, I have that many troops just from that. Man, oh, my forces have been increasing by a lot. I wonder if... No, the wife has nothing to do with that, the wife's dead. Twenty thousand people coming from from Syria. Well, that's good. I guess. I wonder. If we should probably put up some sort of counter attack over here, or defense. But most of my troops would come from here, from Aquitaine. But I have to wait for them to stand off it. So the Pope die or something? Yep. I don't care. Pope's constantly dying is a good thing for me. Well, I don't see the need to, for him to get married. He's 70 years old. Fuck that. How old is your son now? 32. A reasonable age to have a son. Of his own. The territories in Merv are okay, but the further north we go, the more it turns into just trash.
I don't know. Okay, we should probably be able to get rid of 88 men. There we go, good. With 20,000 men here, we can lift this. And just fight them in the area. There's no point capturing their settlements. But I'm always down to kill a few Indians. The piety will help. Send you up this way and you there. This this Benjamin revolt. Is it just let me see here? Hmm. I might actually go and declare war on them after this this is over. We lost something somewhere. How'd you lose that? Oh it doesn't matter. That's strange. I mean, we outnumbered them by a lot. But, I, I... I don't know. Sometimes the Indians can pull off some really great victories. Okay, we're already at 94%, so that's good. They may want to surrender soon. Honestly, do you really need to retreat that far back? There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Right, so these settlements here will be handed over to Persia. How old are you? 34. You've only got a daughter. Your heir is your nephew. And he's already the Duke of... Okay, he's, he's fine. As long as he's not like a Duke of anywhere else. Your wife's 44 years old. Yeah, you're probably not going to have any more children. Actually, no, no. That's my nephew. It goes to his brother, which is also my nephew. Not his nephew. Good. Some more territory there for you. Now, looking at this, we've got most... We've got about half of Kiva. Now, the only reason I'm looking at that is that if we need to, can we create the Sultan? No. Alright, that's fine. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, probably shouldn't let this happen. down here and put a stop to this. So it's Novgorod that declared war on me. Uh, that's why we've got so many troops, because we've got a defensive war on us. All of our lords like us a little bit more. Right. So thanks for the additional troops. Yeah, we don't, we don't want this war to end anytime soon. You go in there, lock him down.
don't come back, motherfuckers. I mean, they they will, but I'll just I'll raise my levies again when they when they do come back. Just two more years, and then we can. I don't know. I could probably just outright. Oh, he's hiding now. I can still revoke his title. Then we have to find yet another goddamn Carling Dynasty person. And we still need to revoke a lot of your your things. So this here. Skolovia. Are you independent? Yep. We could do a holy war for that, and that should belong to Poland. Bit of a Swedish revolt. So yeah, Austrasia, they've been conquering you know, the, the Lithuanian area. Lithuania doesn't actually hold any of its territory in Lithuania. What about the Byzantine Empire? Like I've said many times, I want to take them down a few pegs. Not until 1990. Sorry, not 1990. Yeah, I could declare war on this guy here. The problem with him is that his territory is all over the place. So it'd be a giant mess. Like, the one I, I'm looking at doing is this one here, but I've got a peace treaty with him. I'm just waiting for him to die. Okay, we're going to double our score with this. Territory that's up to Italy to worry about. Could declare war on these guys here. They've got a. This guy could die of old age soon. Could be a good opportunity. There's some. There's some reasonably good territory in here. All right, let's do that. So it looks like Aquitaine might actually end up winning this. Oh well, not really my concern right now. Uh, this territory here. I think that belongs to him. And the reinforcements from over this way. I'll tell you what, to strategically redeploy. If you could take the trains could come over here, that would be great. But of course, we're about a thousand years too early for that. I'm not going to lift this siege here. That's up to Aquitaine to do. And I'm I'm rooting for Aquitaine to lose this war. Okay, actually it does look like they're gonna lose, so I'll I'll lift it for them. So there's four regions to gain. That's, it's reasonable. This will be handed over to Sind. Actually, let you come over there.
Well, it's a large garrison. We'll probably take a lot of damage attacking this. No, no, can't attack it. No. The defenders there are just way too strong. You have to starve them out. So they didn't levy their troops. If they didn't levy their troops, so, you know, doubles the amount of garrison we have to deal with. Alright, you can come over here, retake this, punish them for daring to resist us. Thousand. Let's get over to here because that's part of the uh, the war score territory. You come down over here. Are they ready to surrender? Okay, well, then there's no need to keep going then. Still have plenty of reserves. Yeah, this defensive war here is working so well in our favour. That extra was I think it's twenty five loyalty with all my vassal kings. Now let me just double check this first. Yep, it all belongs in the Rajasthan Empire. So that'll be handed over to you. So you've got yourself a wife, that's good. Have some sons so he doesn't have any claim over your territory and vice versa. I mean, he'll keep the claim, I mean, he won't have inheritance from you. Also, that gives us 10 years of him basically looking the other way from the time that we revoked his title. Had to be done. Now let's have a look in here. Are there any new kingdoms that can be created? Let me have a look here. It needs to be usurped. Not seeing anything that needs to be done. Basically, round two, motherfucker. Once again, let's check my air. Still no sons. She's starting to get old. Which is fine. I mean, he can always just divorce her and marry someone young when he turns 50. That's absolutely fine. Uh, ignore. I will not approve. If anything was in the Byzantine Empire, you keep joining defensive pacts against me, you guys can get fucked. Right, it would have been better if we actually had attacked the army. Let's just capture this quickly. Where are they going? Torzuk. And where? No, that was the name of them. They're going to Krakow. Okay, that's where we'll go as well. I'll split my forces up and we'll pick different areas to go to. Kingdom of England, good stuff. Alright, so you can now have that revoked. Now, if I was to revoke this, it will take me a penalty, you know, minus. 
Why can't I revoke? Oh, there it is. Finally, I can do this. Now, I believe I claim the Duchy of Lancaster, so no problem there. And 27 out of 27 vassals limit there. A lot of these things need to be handed over to... Okay, hang on. A lot of things need to be handed over to, to Africa. Hang on, let me just make sure the Count of Tunis doesn't have territory all over the place. So he's not supposed to have that. Alright, so let's take Istria. I'll claim that. just thinking. We've been looking for someone to, um, to, what's it called, to, um, to take over the Kingdom of England. This guy's biggest problem here is that he's, he's going to inherit some stuff, but what if I just take away his inheritance? So the way to do that is he's still got three titles, this is his father. Because I'm not going to put his father in, he's going to hate my guts forever. So I'll just claim all of his titles, revoke them, and then his son will become the King of England. Provided he is his French, right? Yep. sure that he has nothing to inherit. Oh, but now I have to fucking find the... Well, he's still here. Raul Carling. I need to, um... Let me just see. What can I... What can I do with you? Well, you've even got a son here. I tell you what, I'll assign... Hmm, hang on. If I invite you to court, he says no. So I just I just want to don't lose track of him. That's all. I, th I think I can still do it. Um, so your father still holds two titles. I think I've got the claims on both of them now. Well, hope going. These will be handed over to the King of Africa. Good opportunity to use up this piety as well, because I could die at any moment. I don't get to take it with me. So you lose your inheritance up here, down here, but don't worry, you're going to get England. You're going to get the city of England. Okay, so when we look at your father now, he's a nobody. How am I supposed to keep track? Okay, where are you? Bishop of where? Okay, so this is how I can easily find him. I go to him, and then just click on his brother. That's how we find out. Now, these three titles need to, of course, be handed over to you.
Now, we need some holdings in in this area. Now, I'm pretty sure you hold... Yeah, you hold Middlesex. So I'll be... Uh... Oh, we have a claim on it. Good. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I claimed it ages ago, and I just wasn't able to because it wasn't part of the Empire. Thank you. Alright, then... Air to nothing. County of Middlesex. Don't worry, I'm going to make you a very powerful lord. We're going to fix this up. So where is... Okay, he's put down here now. But if you have a look here, the kingdom of... Oh, that's de jure. Okay. So this... What is this? This is the county of Benny... Yeah, see, what, what do you hold? Okay, we can just transfer that vassal in. Benyani. Okay, so Africa now holds all of the territory that I wanted to hold, and some territory that I really don't want it to hold. And that it's going to just take me a bit of... That's going to take me a long time, actually, to sort of pry that out from them. Now then... We need to give you a duchy in here. Now, I believe I took the duchy of Lancaster, so you can have that. Then, I need to transfer every count that's in this area over to you. Where's a collar? Ah, right. No, 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 no. Where's this? No, 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 not him either. Okay. Just everything in the British Isles. Okay, so that's that done. Now, I need to... Ooh, um, if I just straight up revoke this... Hmm. I'm going to have to claim it anyway because it's part of uh, Wales. So let's do that. It might trigger him to uh, to just outright revolt from me. If he does that, I can imprison him. So, you lose this. This will be handed over to him, of course. So, I didn't didn't think he would... Um, would revolt. Hopeless case for him, but still. I mean, I could just, just outright revoke this. Minus 30 penalty for five years. I mean, we could die right now for all we... Alright, let's just do it. And with this going, it almost negates it. United the Kingdoms. Uh, maybe you have to hold all the kingdoms simultaneously, or whatever. Alright, so grant title, Kingdom of England. If I can fucking find it. There it is. So that's currently what England is. It's an absolute goddamn mess. We're not done there. We still need to transfer a few things over to you. So this is the previous King of England. Now, does he have... He's got a weak claim on the Kingdom of England. It 
could be in our best interest to just revoke it from him outright, give him no power in the area. Because he'll be a beacon from which his enemies will flock to. What can I do to get rid of you utterly? I know what I can do. I can... Hmm. Just think, if I keep him as my personal vassal, the moment he steps out of line, I'll kill him. He only owns one territory. Alright, I'll, I'll leave, leave that be for that for now. Now, we still need to retract a lot of shit from you. So let's see. How much of England do you still own? A lot. Let's start with this. Let's have a look. So this is the Duchy of Alger. <laughs> Duchy of Ulster. Alright, so this guy here, the Duchy of Ulster. Well, he doesn't have a whole lot. So we can just, um, just retract the Duchy. The Duke of Ulster. That's, that's an easy one. Unfortunately, I have to claim his title. I can't just transfer it into England because it's not it's not de jure sorted yet. If you have a look at it, yeah, it's still part of Ireland. So that'll give you a little bit of extra power. All these titles will make him love us, but only for like 10 years. But it's better than nothing. That's where we can... Kingdom of Persia isn't supposed to have that. <coughs> ah, damn it. I don't know what I'm going to do about that right now. Alright, we've got the Duchy of Munster. Could take us a while to pry all these things out. The Duchy of Powers. It's a very small duchy. Um, all right, I'll uh, I'll take that. Retract Duchy of Powers. I don't think I can just transfer it over to you, can I? Because he's a duke. No, I can't. So, it has to then also be claimed. No, hang on, that's the county. And like I said, we, we pretty much have to start again with the whole transfer of England completely from scratch. But hopefully, um, you don't have any ties, any claim on England. Oh, you do have a claim on England, and Aquitaine for that matter. You press that, I'll fucking execute every single one of your children. And I don't want to do that, so you just stay exactly where you are. That being said, they can't, vassals can't declare war on one another if they're within the Empire of France yet, so it shouldn't happen again. So, yeah, a bit of a mess there.
All right, here's what we do with this one. I'll retract that duchy. Of, where is it? Kebble, yep, you. Then we'll claim her title and give, give it to him. See, now there'll be a few other regions that can be handed over to you as well, as soon as this is taken. So this war over here is one. We just, um, we keep it going because it's a good thing for us. So we grant him the Duchy of of that and you also get the who's yep you just have that one region so transfer that vassal into you good and we got fucking one region out of it but it had to be done So, transfer. So over here we've got the Duchy of Munster. He needs to be retracted. This will be the last one I can do because I'm, I'm, I'll have run out of uh, piety after this. But at least we've got things sort of back on track. It's going to be a while before it's perfect, but it's a start. It is not that often that it gets absolutely fucked up like that either. And now that it's been transferred into the Empire of France, it, it, sh it really shouldn't happen again. At least with this area. I, I got the uh, duchy, didn't I? There it is. There we go. Get these... Get these big... Beginning to start transferring into the uh, the Kingdom of England. To start. Now we need more piety, so what are we going to do about that? Oh, I'm going to keep checking you. So. Very unlikely she's going to have any more children. It's possible, but unlikely. They can capture all of this trash as much as they want, it doesn't mean anything. Because I'm just going to keep getting a recurring war score bonus, and all of that stuff's crap anyway. i got half a mind just to send these guys over here to come kill you. So I guess he doesn't like me very much. Not a whole lot. Damn it. I wish this king would just die so we can have the next um, next succession going. I want to try and catch these guys.
good. Weakening their armies. We'll just slow down their, their attacks. I just don't want to pay attention to it, that's all. Got better things to do. Now then, over here. Has this peace treaty here run out? Why? Oh, I can't declare because I've got levies raised. It doesn't matter about this, this region here. Okay, so we can go for another, another one of these. Let's get a nice, nice big chunk. Yeah, oh yeah, one, two, three, four. That looks nice. Alright, finally the succession happened. Okay, we have a new heir for play as... Oh, okay, we need to sort that out. Alright, so now might be a, a good time just to, to just to hang back and wait and see. So your wife here, she's not particularly good at anything for that matter. So I want you to divorce her. Because you're, you're not a young man anymore. It might be a good idea to get a, uh, a younger wife that has good stewardship. Hang on, you've got a... Um, a barony. But this barony needs to be handed back to um, to them. Now, let's find a nice young wife that's got really high stewardship. Twenty seems good. This one's younger, but twenty nine's all right, and she's Midas touched, so she'll be pretty fertile. Problem here, though, is that once once they've had one son together, I'll need to divorce her again. Good. It doubled our um, our, our score. Now that we've got a, a new king, it's time to be an absolute dick. And just betray every single peace treaty that we do. You know, while it doesn't really cost us that much. Good, look at this. It, we can hold a lot more territory now. So I can manage more stuff. But what I was going to do before was uh, attack this. It's actually good that we still got this defensive war going on. Because it'll help keep the other vassals in line. Because we don't have the long reign bonus now. Alright, I need to declare war on this motherfucker. Because I want that territory. That's not very many. I thought I'd get more than that. What's what's going on with the King of Aquitaine? So he didn't like the predecessor very much. Well, whatever. We've still got 25,000 men here, plus 600 plus 15,000. 41,000, should be plenty. Um, let's hit this first. Now the fact that we revoked a kingdom title has been forgotten. Because the king died. Actually, pried some stuff away from the uh, the Empire of France here, but it's it's going to be returning to it as soon as Syria joins in ten years. <coughs> so minus nineteen percent here. Why is that? Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Suffering defeats in some areas. Once we capture a few settlements, it'll um, 
the, it'll be positive in our favor again. 40,000 men, 13% attrition. Oh, okay. I see, because it's not... Yeah, okay. A lot of attrition. I just lost 5,000 men. I mean, I know it technically I should split them up, but even if these guys here fail, actually, on that regard, just in case, since we started off at a disadvantage, let's recruit the B team. Not taking as much attrition, but still taking some. But uh, we've got it in the positive now, so that's good. We may not even need the B team. So they recaptured this. Not a big deal. We'll, we'll come up this way and double back and retake it. And if I come into contact with them, I'll kill them. I mean, at the end of the day, he has to contend with two armies twice his size. He won't be able to maneuver around fast enough. I wouldn't be surprised if they asked for it. Ask for peace soon anyway. Okay. Almost clockwork. There. Thank you. Didn't need the B team after all. Now then. All of these territories will be handed over to the new kingdom that we're supposed to be establishing, which we haven't got a kingdom title for him yet, but we will eventually. Haven't even got him a duchy title yet. I should be able to give him one now. Since we got the entire duchy there. The Cinder Raj. Take that and hand it over to our buddy. So you've had a bastard here. Your wife. Well, I don't know about that, to be honest, but whatever. Okay, now you're holding way too many titles. You need a duchy title. Now we need a kingdom title. So we need this kingdom, but it's going to take a little while for us to get it. Now, I don't mind breaking that peace treaty, but we need to make sure that he likes us a little bit more, so we can get more troops out of him. So I'll send, I'll give him an honorary title. Because the more we give him, the more he'll like us, the more troops we'll be able to levy from him. Now yeah, what about you? You like us a little bit, if I was to gain you some territory, You'll like us even more. So what, what's this? Who does this belong to? That's fucking 
mess. Okay, well, whatever. What about some territory up here? Actually, that could, that could be good right there. It's only two regions. Well, that's fine. I don't want to give them too much. Not yet. All right, we'll go for that. Good, giving us more troops now. Yeah, well... I was just thinking maybe giving them a rest, but it'll be fine. So, Sind is not really giving us a whole lot of troops. So we really need to improve relations with him. And then we send in the B team, which we probably don't need to. But another 40,000 men. Wouldn't hurt. Send them up north this way. That's so much more quiet now. The thing is, sometimes I don't really hear them because I've got the headphones on, which sort of, you know, makes everything else in the area a lot quieter. Like, obviously, I can hear myself. But what, you know, the, the microphone doesn't ha necessarily have, like, a, a filter on it. of attrition but you know it happens we just use overwhelming numbers and it's not a problem okay about fucking time Jeez, it took nearly a generation okay so this can finally be handed back to Poland Now, while all that's been going on, these guys have, uh... I can't raise my Bavarian soldiers. I'll have to hire... Oh, shit, I can't get them either. Uh, Italian? I've already hired them. I'll have to use my retinue force. Everyone else has already recruited. What about Andalusia? Yeah, I've already recruited them as well. Who owns this? Aquitaine. Not supposed to. It's not a big deal though, it's not in a transparent region. Oh, this is that heavily fortified region. Fucking hell. Looks like we do need the B team. Well, it's good that we're finally taking this. Because it's an absolute fucking pain to take. So somebody died. Oh shit, no, you should not be going out to fight. So it's only 1% in our favourite... Oh, because they took this back. Looks like it's all up to the B team. At least until this is... Fuck me. Just lost a lot of troops there.
I mean, can't assault it. So I just have to wait. Okay, the attrition's not too bad out here. Oh, good. Look at the number of regions here. This is going to be good to take. So, Beatrix. I'm kind of hoping for another daughter. Because I don't want to divorce this wife just yet. She's good. And we, we might be able to find another old woman that's got similar sort of stats, but they're hard to find. Good, got to fifty percent. Okay, they should be surrendering soon. Okay, so these territories will be handed over to the King of Sindh. Which will provide us with... With, um... He'll provide us with more of his levy next time. And also now we never need to besiege that again, hopefully. Because... I think just the garrison is just too strong. Um... Let's just have a look over here. Yeah, we... What's going on? It's just the occupation stuff. We've got to put a stop to that. I don't really want this army here... Um... You know, making attacks. Every time they lose troops, I have to pay for those troops to be replenished. But these, th this war is too important, and I, I can't send you reinforcements over there right now. Okay, I lost a lot of troops fighting them, so I'll need to just wait a while and let my let my military recover a little bit first. Oh, we only lost like. 200 men, it's not a big deal. I could go over there and start occupying their territory, but fuck it, it's not worth anything. Okay, send them back over here to re kick out these goddamn. So I'll send these guys to do it. Good, upgrading the castle town, that helps. All little bits of extra cash. Seems to me like we're almost at halfway through conquering. Ah, oh, damn. Well, looks like the wife has to go. Let's give him a silly name. Let's see, what shall I call you? Uh, silly name. Emperor Adel Adelbert. Oh, 
call him Smelly Fuck. That's a silly name, but whatever. Now, you can't have any more children. So, let's have a look here. Improve learning. As, as useful as you would have been, unfortunately, you're too fertile. So I have to request a divorce. You gave me what I needed. Oh, she's got pneumonia as well. Oh, she's not going to bear any... Oh, she might recover from that. It, it doesn't matter. Alright, so now we need to get you a new new wife. I'll have to do it manually. Let's have a look. Within the Kingdom of England... She's married. I'm literally a motherfucker. No. It's not good there. I'm looking for old women of the court who are... Just too old to bear children. Or who, who have already, you know, like queen mothers or something. Preferably ones that aren't already dead. Can't seem to find much. She's already remarried. But her parents... She sucks. Start picking random lords out. Nope. Oh, that's sort of right on the cusp there. She's... Well, here's the thing. Being a scholarly theologian... Alright, I'll marry you. You better not bear any children. The main thing I needed for her is to increase the mid size. To help me manage my estates and expansions. So this part of, of Magyar up here, this would be um, handed over to Poland. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. But hang on, what about Lithuania? So this is a you know, this is a tribe. Can't we bother to do that? Oh, hang on. We're not, we're not administrating any settlements over here. We need to get started on something. This guy here is a nobody. It'd be very easy to kill him. And when you're done, you'll head down over here and kill them again. So now we need to begin administrating this. So it's religion is weird. Now we need to build this up. So where's my chaplain? All right. Now, should we break up? A treaty with, with one of these guys? Let's have a look, because we're going to need to tidy this up. It's getting a bit messy now. I 
So this guy's down here I could conquer, but I want to tidy up these regions here first. Alright, so let's have a look. So this guy... God damn, it's just little bits and pieces everywhere. It's going to be multiple wars to, to defeat them. I can't... I can't... Uh, declare war while, while I've got uh, levies raised, obviously. Duh. Alright, this could be a good opportunity, now that uh, our vassals are in reasonably good order, to um, to fix up England a little bit more. Duchy of the Isles. So this guy here, he has... Okay, we just need to retract him. I could put him in jail. Uh, it's too much effort. Just, just do it this way. I'll just do it slowly. So this is an actual. They want my my title there. Um, I should probably take that seriously. Hard to take the Byzantine Empire seriously now, though. This is this is not a war we want to have keep going for years and years. So let's just get in there, crush them, and um, get out. I need to declare war on them to conquer some of their territory after this because this is bullshit what they're doing here. They're trying to get my title off, off me wholesale. Okay, so I retracted this. Now I need to claim it. So that we can hand everything over to, um, to its rightful king, the King of England. and then transfer the vassalage of no not him no okay good So, who's got the claim on this? How the hell... Let me just see here. So, Byzantine War for... And that's... Fuck me, I'm trying to read this. Athanasius' claim on Alania. Oh, it's on Alania, not on... My title. Alania's like out here, who gives a fuck? But still, we'll, we'll stop him. I bet I can't do like a counter conquest. I have to get a peace treaty and then conquer them at a justification for something else. But I'll get a bit of money and prestige and everything from it, which I don't really need. Okay, well I can't levy troops while I've I'm doing this. I doubt you've got anything. 522 men. Who cares? What about Bavaria? 8,000 men. So if we look once again at England, it's starting to get there. No, you're not supposed to own this. Wait, how do you... Oh, you must have inherited like a barony or something. Well, whatever, it's not a big deal. We ran low on troops because of these attacks.
Gotta watch out, they've got some some serious firepower out here. Might not be a good idea to take on any more provinces. Instead, try and hit their armies. Try and weaken them somehow. Not enough morale to hit with this just yet. But it's good to see that Poland is slowly getting stronger. Oh, I said I'd stop doing that stuff. Stop it. I might want to fight them, although the numbers don't seem that favorable for it now. I don't want to attack them there because they'll get a mountain bonus. You fucking Syrian shit. How the hell did Bavaria come down here as well? So what's this? The Duchy of Afar. Well, it just needs to be retracted. So that's a relatively easy fix. This here. I'll need to claim it. It's part of Abyssinia, I've got the title of Abyssinia, so I'll need to claim Afar as well. I've got Abyssinia. Okay, hang on. Where is it? God damn it, I'm never gonna find it amongst all this. There it is. Start sending them bribes out. See, this is why you need an abundance of money, so that when th shit like this happens, you just be like, ah, I'll just throw money at the situation. Alright, good. This belongs to Egypt. Hang on. Okay, good. It's fine. She married a uh, Carling Dynasty person. So many Carling Dynasty people out this way. And then you need the Duchy of Afar. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, so someone's been a little shit. So let's see. How are we going to deal with this? Somebody holds territory that they're not supposed to. Right, easiest way to deal with this is just take Halavan off them. Wait, did that go through? Yeah, the claim's going through. Okay. 
That'll be handed to Syria. Now then, shall we finish this war or what? What's going on? Oh, they wouldn't took that region back. Not a big deal. I mean, I'll just be able to just go straight to it and take it. And the Byzantines lose. So what do we get out of it? A little bit of money. And we get to imprison some bitch. Fine. Alright, I need to wait for my forces to recover. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's go straight back to war with the Byzantines. Fucking dickheads. And let's take something significant from them. Syracuse. Yeah, sure. I teach them a lesson. Fuck with me, bitch. This is, just so you guys know, this is inconvenient for me to attack this right now. I have other, there are other things with, with greater rewards. But like I said before, the Byzantines, they get in the way. Sometimes it's important to just, just get rid of them. God damn, one settlement at a time to take out the Byzantines. And it's very important that we stop them expanding in any way we can. Just block them. I mean, if they, you know, like I said, if they go up this way, it's all just trash territory. But all the rich territory down here, take it away from them. So Syracuse is a fairly wealthy settlement. You know, probably depriving them of a few hundred troops. Okay. I'm a bit arbitrary now. It's just like I'm I'm control of the largest empire the world has ever seen at this time, and I'm supposed to be concerned about some fucking farmer. No, have my advisors deal with it. Have my governors deal with it, or whatever. Delegation of duties is one of the most important things. For a uh, for a king to learn, because you can't just micromanage everything. That's inefficient leadership. Now conquering all this stuff over here may not actually give us enough war score to win. So we may need to move on to Greece. It's also costing us a lot of troops. Okay, it, it looks like it'll be enough. back there. They'll surrender in a moment. And if I disband them from here, I won't lose half of the troops. Now then, as previously stated, I don't really care that much about prestige. 
I did lose a lot of troops over, over this, but these, these settlements here are quite badly damaged. So if I was to re-levy my troops, I'm just going to hand this straight back to, um, straight to you. I'm not going to try to get rid of it. No, no, trans transfer vessel. I'm just going to go straight back to war with them. Like I said, they need to be punished. So Sicily will be taken away from them. Oh, we're past an hour and a half. Um, well, I'll keep going a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll, we'll take everything in, in Sicily. It's time for them to be deprived. And also it'll help strengthen us as well to uh will strengthen us um strengthen the Italians. Need to get to these settlements quickly, so bef before you know the garrison comes back. See, right now, 5,000 men easily can take on this castle, because there's no one occupying it. We might need to take them off to the mainland. Maybe, I guess we'll just wait and see how much war score we get out of all this. Okay, good. They still managed to surrender. So we've only got 36,000 of those soldiers left. I mean, we could come back here very easily capture all this again. That's not a problem. No, no. Transfer vessel. Oh no, I actually, actually I need to give the, uh, the title to them. Good, that helps improve relations with Italy so I can get more out of them. And then once again, I've got, oh hang on, this needs to be expanded. Just keep doing it, keep smashing them. Like I said, they need to be punished, fuck them. Take this one next. With my forces a little bit diminished, but perfectly fine. So with this, I'm going to send my largest force, the Egyptians. Over to here, where they'll meet up with the Bavarians. They'll need to attack mainland Greece. I'll also send in the Austrasians, just in case. Who's this? King of Persia? Fuck it. I mean, it's not good that he's there, but it's fine. I don't care.
it makes it very easy to capture these settlements very quick as well. Just keep backstabbing them. They don't deserve any better. Now it's high time we've got this. Long overdue. Guys, ready? Send them over here to help us attack. Okay, good. Merge the boats. Get these guys on the boat. Uh, what's this? Fine, I don't care. So Abyssinia should eventually just disappear entirely. Okay, they'll surrender soon. I've left the richest... Well, more like the, 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 the regions that have the most holdings for last, because, you know, we can obviously just recapture them multiple times. Next time, the forces of Bavaria alone will be able to capture that without any problems. Get out of this territory, just stay out. Didn't even need them. Just keep attacking it until they surrender. Oh, they've already surrendered. Good, it was handed over to me, so we'll grant that over to you. So I still have 56,000 of the troops available for this. Um, I haven't really been paying attention to this, and we've been, not losing, but I've been, well, I don't know. Just haven't been paying attention to it, basically. <clears throat> Need to go back over there and retake it. Now, I'm certainly not done with this. So yeah, let's just attack it again. Oh, I just hired levies. Alright, hang on, hang on. We'll, we'll um, recall them. I'll, uh, I'll send them back in just as soon as I've declared war again. So this time it'll be for Palermo. I'll just have you by yourself deal with that this time. I did say that you were going to go... Actually. Yeah, you're going to go to here to conquer this, because that's... That's weak. And I'll send these guys down here to smash them. Now that's not all we need to send in. Send in the Africans. And Egyptians as well, actually. But the Africans can hit here. You hit there, because that's damaged. And Egyptians as well. Need to participate. And Aquitaine. Need your help. Their forces are pretty diminished. We just need to take two more regions and then we'll give the Byzantines a rest after that. Seems like they've uh, they've got a revolt to handle now as well, which is good. We've also got claim over Valach. Well, actually, we don't because I handed it over, didn't I? He's got claim over over this town because it belongs to Valachia. Send Smelly Fuck into hiding. Yeah, no. If he dies, we'll just have another son. In the Kingdom of Lithuania. Um, no. So they want peace now, but I fucking don't. 
That war serves me very well. Keep my vassals in line gives me more troops to work with. surrender. Good. I accept their surrender. Take that. Thank you very much. And good, this was handed to me, so we kicked out the Greek loser that was there before. Hand it over to them. Good. Just one more to go. Yeah, I know we only get half of them back, but I just don't have time. We just want to Smash them up. One more war, and then we're done. Alright, oh, I still got this going on. Uh, I'll need to finish this first. So even with all the wars that I've had against the Byzantine Empire, they're probably still about roughly the same size as what they were when the campaign begins, because they've taken so much territory in the north. Roughly. Kick them out of Sicily once and for all for them to never return. At Messina. 5,000 men. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient. They, had, they, they didn't attack them in the previous war. I'll send the Africans to come and help. I'm also aware that I... Uh, I just banded my troops in enemy territory, so they're not going to have that many. But this is the last one, I just need to be quick with it all. Andalusia coming to help will make a big difference. And I'll even send in Syria, just to make, make sure. Oh, wait, wait, we'll send in Syria from up north. Because he doesn't have enough ships anyway. I think I, I feel better going through the coast this time than up here. They just don't have enough supplies. capture Messina and then get the wall score up.
You see, Byzantine, you never stood a chance in the first place, and I was always going to conquer you, but since you declared war on me, you have brought my immediate wrath upon you. You could have held on to this region, this province, for another hundred years without me really worrying about it. Everyone dies eventually. It's just a matter of how much time you buy yourself before I come and kill you. Get on my shit list and you shorten your lifespan. I take a bit of damage on this one. We just need to win these wars quickly. Okay, not as much as I thought. Go to the coast. It's almost done. We're at seventy five percent of the eighty three percent. They could surrender at any moment now. There we go. And there we go, all of Sicily finally under our control. Now our forces obviously are in bad shape, so they'll need need some time to rest before we send them off anywhere else. So this will be handed over to Italy, and then that that's just the end of it. Nowhere left for Italy to conquer. Good. Anyway guys, we're a little bit over time on that, but that's fine. That's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 24 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.